the Canadian press. It's become a little bit uh, ridiculous, you know. They, they spoke, we heard, and now it's time to go back to school, and that's it. They're very simple. It's, it's all, uh, it's all uh, well organized right now, so I hope it won't get uh, bad later, because it's a terrible image for Canada at the international level. You know, it will, it will stop tourism, it will stop a lot of things. It, it's, it's really damaging. I guess internationally people think that there's this huge, uh, the, 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 this huge extra money that the students need to pay when it's not. Uh, and when they get the full story, then they just can't believe it. But it's like, it's, it was the same with, with the riots in London last year. Uh, you know, it's rebels without a cause, really, or, or it's, it's, a, it's a small cause. And, and once you get a group of people, then it's impossible to stop. Um, and it's impossible to make sense of it. So uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed. It, it really uh, makes Canada look bad. Are you afraid for the weekend on the track that maybe some protester can have the idea to go on the track? Well, I hope not, because it'd be terrible if somebody got killed like that, you know, running across the track or anything. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not frightened of anything, to be quite honest with you. I've been in Bahrain where they're professionals. I haven't seen anybody protesting, to be honest with you. I mean, they've probably got a very... They probably think they've got a good reason. But from what I hear, certainly about the, the students anyway, from that point of view, they're certainly better off than they would be in London. The Canadian Press.